what is going on YouTube Foxy Welcome to you guys today with a brand new video and in today's video we're gonna be looking at the akimbo attachment and every single call of duty I hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications and without further ado Let's go, bros. All right, first, we're going to start on Modern Warfare 2. But before we get into the gameplay, I need to give an honorable mention to Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. Because in Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1, you could dual wield the Colt 45 pistols. And I'm going to put a picture of that up on the screen. But I don't have any gameplay of that. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. So, we're going to start with Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. And let's start with the most notorious, the most iconic dual wielding combo in Call of Duty history. We're using the Akimbo models in Modern Warfare 2, man. The Akimbo models. Do you guys remember the pre-patch Akimbo models? They were fucking insane. And if you don't remember them, uh, you guys can probably look up some stuff on them. Ooh, ooh. Get out of here, bro. What you doing? Guys, let me know if you guys use the Akimbo models back in the day. Honestly, pre-patch, that would have killed somebody. And what was really cool about Modern Warfare 2 is that some machine guns also got Akimbo attachment, which is, like, really fucking cool in my opinion. So, I mean, I guess I'll run Akimbo for the UMP. And you could also equip Akimbo on your pistols as well. I'm pretty sure all the pistols, machine pistols and semi-automatic, some of the shotguns, and almost, or if not, all of the SMGs in the game had the Akimbo attachment on them which I thought was super cool because that gives so much variety to people. It gives the option of so many play styles. Like, look at this. Like, look at that. that that's super dope. Uh, we're running Marathon Pro and we're running um, Steady Aim Pro and we're also running Stopping Power Pro. Essentially, that's what you should probably run when you're running around with these because you want, you want to be fast. You want to keep moving. You know, like, look at that, dude. Like, look at that. I, sh I shot him right through that thing. We're going to run through here. Favela is also one of my favorite maps. Probably, it's it's definitely in my top five favorite maps in Call of Duty history, in my opinion. That was a guy. I love the variety that Modern Warfare 2 offered, especially when it came to the guns, the attachments, the maps. In my opinion, there's no other game in Call of Duty history that has the map variety that Modern Warfare 2 has. What the fuck was that? Really? What the fuck? Hold on. See ya. Really? <sighs> this game does make me rage, though. I will say that here. We'll run around with some, uh... Oh, man. Just get owned. <laughs> Akimbo UMPs, boy! Woohoo! Nope. Wow, dude. That's actually super OP. Oh, they have a payload in the air, too? Oh, lord. Okay, so we're gonna sit in here. Damn, son. Double kill. Damn, son. All right, we're on some Black Ops 1. Holy shit, dude. Firing range on Black Ops 1. And we're using the Kipperus Bruh. SMG? Are you... Dude, are you kidding me? All right, well. Gotta switch. Gotta switch maps. Oh, hold on. Oh, get out of here. We got our dual wielding... Uh, what, what are these called? The uh, revolvers? Yeah, we got the dual wielding revolvers. Oh, I can't see. All right, guys. So let me know down in the comments. What is your favorite Black Ops game? Mine is Black Ops 1 personally i played black ops 1 in its prime i love the gunplay in this game i hate the connection issues and i hate the hit detection but the gunplay uh you know the guns the sounds just the campaign the maps too the maps in black ops 1 are fantastic all right let's see here damn dude and we're using the kip or it's like the kipperus or capperus or whatever these dual wielding smgs i was gonna use um something else but like i didn't know what to use exactly ah shit i don't know what to use because i didn't really run smgs in black ops 1 black ops 1 isn't really an smg type of game unless you're running the ak-74u but the ak-74u doesn't have dual wielding in it or it doesn't have the akimbo attachment so you know we're, we're just running whatever we can and i didn't want to just use shotguns to be honest one. Oh, there's gotta be more. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy shit. Oh man. Now, in this game, I'm pretty sure there's like a select few shotguns, maybe only one shotgun that you can use uh, the akimbo attachment on. And then I'm pretty sure all the pistols you can use the akimbo attachment on in this game. And then I think a majority of the SMGs. Because like I said before, you can't use the akimbo attachment on the AK-74U. It just doesn't work out. That sucks though, because like the AK-74U is like OP as hell in this game. I mean, it's not OP. It's just the best SMG in the game, as it should be. 
Surprisingly enough, this game is not laggy right now, and I'm very surprised. I mean, obviously, like that last game that I was in, I got lagged out of. God, this SMG sucked. Wow, holy shit, dude. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm running sleight of hand. Yeah, I'm running sleight of hand right now. Alrighty, so now we are on Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. Normally, you want to run Marathon with your Akimbo weapons in MW3, but uh, doesn't look like we're doing that right now. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Pretty sure after Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, you weren't allowed to put Akimbo on your submachine guns anymore. Like, for its primary weapons, uh, I think besides shotguns, you couldn't use the Akimbo attachment. And that's something that I feel like it's good, but at the same time, I feel like it kind of eliminates class customization a little bit. Because, you know, Akimbo... Kimbo UMPs, okay, yeah, I, I understand it. Like, that, that's pretty OP. But, like, at the same time, I also feel like it gives, like, a, a player some class customization, you know? It, it gives the player some depth as far as their classes go, you know? Oh, no. Nope, nope, get off me. I don't know why I just jumped down, but... Oh, did I just juke him out? Yeah, I did. Oh, man, bro, we're just going off. Yeah, the FMG9 Akimbo's. You guys probably know... What these are just based on the one video probably that's gone it's gone viral where someone's playing infection and they're on I can't remember what what map they're on ah uh, what map is it what map is it what map is it um nope okay yeah i love that hell yeah you guys have probably seen the video where it's this guy and he's playing infection and he's running i uh, like dual wielding fmg nines they're on resistance and he just like destroys everyone gets like multiple moabs in a row like what the fuck why are they all sitting up there dude these kids are playing like such little <laughs> bastards Alrighty, we're on some Black Ops 2, and in Black Ops 2, you can't really dual wield, unless, like, you run, like, a pistol or whatever. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that the only way you can dual wield is through a pistol, and he just took my kill. Love that. Hold on. No, whoa, wait, what? Really? Really? Dude. Alright, so we're using the Cap 40s. And um, I'm actually I'm actually on the winning team, which is kind of surprising. Pretty sure dual wielding in Black Ops 2 is only available for the pistols. Honestly, this is where Call of Duty started to kind of, I wouldn't say take away customization. They started limiting how players could play with certain weapons. Like, there was no way that someone could run dual wielding SMGs in this game. No way that someone could run dual wielding, um, no way that someone could run like a dual wielding shotgun in this game. And I know all that sounds like really OP. Trust me, I know, I know how, I know how OP that actually sounds. But I think that's what made a lot of the older games fun. There was so much customization and there was so much just, it was more creative. Like you get more creative with your classes. There was a lot more things to do and stuff like that, man. So that, that, that's how I feel about it personally. It's, it's funny, like I never played Black Ops 2 in its prime and I, I really wish I did, honestly. Like I really, really, really wish I did because I missed out on shit talking and shit and stuff like that for Black Ops 2, honestly. Like I missed out on a bunch of it. And I wish, dude, I wish I hadn't because if I was doing YouTube back in 2012, dude, I would have posted nothing but just rage compilations. Now that I think about it, I played Halo 4 and MW3 instead of playing this game, which Halo 4 instead of this game, I don't know why the hell I did, but I mean, well, no, I'm not going to say that because I, I, I did like Halo 4 at the time. I got the MP443, so we'll see how these, how, we'll see how these do. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what it is about Ghosts. It's just not the game that I like to play personally. I, there's a lot of mixed feelings around Ghosts because like there's good things about Ghosts and there's bad things about Ghosts. I mean, you could say that for every Call of Duty game, but like at the same time, it's not like Ghosts where a majority of it is bad but then like there's a decent amount of it that's good like i could tell you exactly what's good about ghosts the hit detection the gunplay because of the hit detection in addition to that like the character customization and stuff like that like all that was like really really cool uh the dlc weapon the ripper i'm pretty sure it was that was really cool or to be able to get um the camos were pretty cool in this game the dlc was really cool in this game i did some research on the dlc and i, I just know kind of what what the dlc was and i know i'm running back and forth but that's because i'm trying to just defend b kind of there's faults like the maps the streaks are not that good 
we go. The, uh, they brought back Favela in this game, which I thought was really cool. You know, I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't playing Ghost at the time, but they definitely brought back Favela, and I thought that was so dope. Get out of the corner. If you notice, whenever someone caps a flag in this game, it goes back to neutral at times. There are times where if someone else is trying to capture a flag, you know, it, like, like it just did, but it'll go back to being neutral or something. It's like, what the fuck? Sorry, I had to. I'm doing I'm doing it for the win. I'm doing it for the win. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Holy shit. So, now we're in advanced warfare, and I'm pretty sure after the research that I did, let me let me actually double check this. So, akimbo or dual wielding in advanced warfare is available for all the pistols except the RW1 and the M1 Iron Special Weapon. I don't know what that is. This is the pistol for the Atlas. Yeah, the Atlas 45 Akimbo pistol. We're gonna look at this, and then we also there is the XMG Heavy Weapon. I don't I don't play Advanced Warfare, so like I don't really know like um like the terms, and I never played it in its prime. So cut me some slack on this. Oh man, just get owned, you noob. Ah, get off me. Now this doesn't have a lot of ammo, unfortunately. Oh man, but it does. But it does shred. Holy crap! I mean, I was shredding in these lobbies like earlier with the um, with the uh, just the, uh, just the regular pistol. You know, I was. Just, oh my goodness! I was just hip firing people. But you know, I I'm like level nine, so it's probably you know me facing off against a bunch of noobs, honestly. Oh man, dude, imagine. Advanced Warfare is the first jetpack game in Call of Duty history, and as everyone knows, I'm not a huge fan of the jetpack games, so... Oh, you're dead. And it's not because I think that the game sucks. I mean, like, I don't like jetpack games, so... You know, some people enjoy Advanced Warfare, and that's perfectly fine. Yo, this guy's running around like a Christmas noob. What are you doing? Oh! Guys, let me know what your favorite gun was on Advanced Warfare, and let me know, like, if you ran, like, the dual-wielding weapons, like the SEC-3 or the SAC-3, whatever you want to call it. We're going to call it the SEC, because that's funny. It's nice. Oh, man, we got... Dude, there's even a VSAT in this game? Black Ops 4, you're fucking up, bro. Yeah, it's so weird playing this, 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 this game after playing, like, all the older Boots on the Ground games. Oh, man. There we go. Got some ammo. Oh my goodness. That's the thing, like, about this game, man. Like, you, you can, like, literally just, like, fly right at somebody and they might not be able to hit their shots, you know? I mean, a good player would hit their shots, but, you know. Not, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking shit, you know? I'm just saying. Oh, man! I don't know how I just lived through that. So, I don't know what these things do, to be honest. I just know that they're dual-wielding. Let's see here. All right, whatever. All right, let's just try. We're just going to try this out. We're just going to get a couple kills with this. There you are. Hey, man, these things shred. Oh. Oh, give me a double. Oh, two piece. Three piece. All right, so I want to say this before we jump into the video because the weapon I'm going to use is not the one that people think I'm going to use. I'm pretty sure when I go to Black Ops 3, people are like, oh, he's going to use the Marshals because like they're like one shot. I don't have the Shadow Claw or the Marshals unlocked, but you can put the Akimbo attachment on these two weapons and you'll be able to dual wield them. I don't have any attachments unlocked for the 1911, even though I would love to run it. So we're going to run the RK5 and we'll see how it goes. All righty. We are on Stronghold. We're using the Akimbo RK5. Fives, or the, or the, we're using the Ankimbo RK5, I guess. I guess you wouldn't say RK5. The gun sound for the RK5 is badass in this game. It's one of my favorite things about the weapon. I know that's something really small, and some of you guys might not care about the gun sounds, but gun sounds to me are they're just crucial. If if it sounded wimpy, uh, shit, I'm bait my teammate. He thought. Nope. The way that the gun a gun sound can't spit it out the gun sound matters to me only because if a gun doesn't sound right or if it doesn't sound or it just doesn't have a signature sound to it i feel like it's just really weird to use like could you imagine the ic i mean oh, oh. could you imagine the icr from black ops 4 or like the acr from mw2 having a different gun sound no you, you can't like you don't even think about it because the sound of the gun is so nostalgic it's so memorable you know you don't forget it and i feel like the gun sound that people remember the most are the guns that number one are the best oh shit Double kill. nice oh shit i feel like the guns that people remember the most are the guns that are you know the best 
but they also have a very distinct sound as well. Everyone remembers the RK5 in this game because, you know, it's really fucking good. And then it just has this distinct sound that I've never heard in any other Call of Duty. You know, maybe you guys have heard this type of sound for a gun in other Call, uh, in other Call of Duties, but personally, I haven't. I don't know how that didn't kill me. Oh, no, no, dude. Oh, dude, I thought he shot it behind me. Oh, where did he stick it on me? What? Ah, that sounds weird. I'm sorry. All right, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, the HVR submachine gun, it has an akimbo slash dual wielding attachment on it, but you have to do a bunch of side missions for that. So we're just gonna use the type two and we're just gonna split our gun into two. Oh shit, okay, so, oh yeah, look at this, let's go. Double. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! Dude, this is so dope. Now, I really like the Type 2, like, by itself. But the fact that you can separate it, it doesn't even look like a dual-wielding weapon. I wonder what, like, I wonder what the first person that noticed that this was a dual-wielding weapon said. They were probably like, holy shit, dude! I got two guns in one! Nah, but seriously, I didn't play Infinite Warfare like that, so, you know. No way! Oh my goodness! This is the last jetpack game of our time here, bros. Um, hopefully forever, honestly. Like, I understand that, like, you know, jetpack games, like, some people say, oh, it requires more skill, you know, you gotta, you gotta jump all over the place and shit, like, you gotta outmaneuver people, and I get that, like, for sure, like, I get that, but it, it's like, come on, man. Like, if you wanna do that, go play Titanfall, or something like that, you know? Uh, hope you didn't see me. Double kill. Nope. Fight! No! Here we have the only dual wielding weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. These are DLC weapons, but I figured it would be nice to put these in this video because, you know, it, uh, uh, yeah, that, that definitely should have been a kill. Now, the dual wielding rangers came back from, um, or the akimbo rangers, I guess I should say, made a return after they were in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, I believe. Oh, no, Juggernaut! I'm pretty sure, I, yeah, I got stopping power on too, which is crazy because like normally stopping power cancels out juggernaut, but I guess I hit him in like the leg or something, bro. Hold on. Nope, he's dead. No, I missed. It's crazy to think about because like these, th this gun. Oh man, you're dead. It's crazy to think about because like no one really thought that these weapons were ever gonna come back or like the the models were ever gonna come back in um in a call of duty game dude and i remember when these came back these came back in the days of summer event oh dude it was insane i remember like the rumor about the rangers coming back and it was like oh man like that that would be crazy and then they came back and it's it's been cr it was oh my god I, I don't even have words now in this game there's like weapon crafts or like yeah is it, is it i think they're called weapon crafts and they make the weapon look uh, completely different it's basically like um world war ii's variants and stuff like that it's, it's all cosmetic but the designs are so badass because it's a modern game so the designs are just killer bro i was gonna use one of them but i was just like ah nah we'll just keep it traditional just for the video Goodbye. I'm actually gonna place that right there. Oh my goodness. I hope I don't die to my own strike team. I mean, strike team. Airstrike. I'm sorry. No! All right. We're on some Call of Booty World War II. And we got some duelist pistol action. Dude. All right. So let me make this clear, bro. The duelist 1911. They're godly, bro. They are awesome. Nope. You're dead. It's like two shots and it's just boom. They're done. So hold on. Someone's up here. Someone's upstairs. Oh, nope. And I'm dead. Yeah. Bouncing Bettys. Camping in the top of the house. What are you doing, you little bastard? Boo! You stink! Nope. He's dead. Dude, this fucking kid. Is he camping with a shotgun too? Alrighty then. So we have the totalized two variants for the 1911. This is my favorite variant. I know that there's the American too, but I really dig this one, to be honest. Dude. Oh my god! Holy shit, we made it. We made it to Black Ops 4. I gotta say, it's been a long journey. It's been a real long journey, actually. So, we have the dual wielding SOG 9mm here. Oh my. Okay, well, I wish I had better aim. Later. Whenever I get mad at something, like, in-game, I get mad at myself more so than the enemy team. Like, if, if it's some bullshit, I'll get mad at the game. But m it's mainly just me being mad at me. Like, I'm pissed off at myself because 
it's like an easy kill and I should have had it or something like that, you know? It's not really me being pissed off at the game, you know? Unless I verbally say, like, I'm pissed off at the specialist, I'm pissed off at the gun player, like, I'm pissed off at this or I'm pissed off at that, like, you know? What the fuck? Like this! Like this! Like that. Yeah, you're fucking lagging like shit, you little bastard. Dude, what the fuck? This kid's actually making everyone lag. See, like, th now, see, this is what some- Dude, like, what the fuck is that? Dude! What is that? Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. You see what I mean? The only time you'll see me get, like, really mad like that is if it's connection and, like, they don't kick the kid from the game or something like that or, like, if, you know, some bullshit happens. Like I said, that was the definition of bullshit. Like, I was lagging so hard that I couldn't fucking kill anybody because of the lag. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get better at my, um... <gasps> Oh my, my long range accuracy with this. Oh shit, I... I pressed the left trigger, or or L1, as if I was aiming down my sight, because that's what I normally do when people are about to come around a corner. And I forgot I was running dual wheel and SMGs. Shoulda had it, man, shoulda had it. I, I think I got shot in the back as well. Here we go, there's two. There we go. There's nice three piece right there. Fucking killing spree. Come on. Here we go. No! Dude! Seriously? <laughs> Fuck specialists. Nope, you thought. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Get in get in here. Goodbye. Come on, we're gonna run through here. Oh my god. Nice, we got him. Nice. That was nice. That was nice. I can see them coming through here. Goodbye. I want to see I want to see how many of them come through here. There's one. No, no, no. Holy shit. No. He shoot he shot me from behind. Yeah, I was going to say there's no way that dude turned on me. I would have had to turn off my fucking PlayStation, dude. Nope. Don't take my kill, you little bastards. Hold on. Oh. Kill. Yep, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get this, but... Oh, uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> nice. Nope. Alright, there we go. Nice. I'm glad I looked up at my UAV, dude. No. Nice, we got him. Got the strike team as well. Gotta get it, we gotta get it, we gotta get it, we gotta get it. Nice. Nice, there we go. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so happy I got that. Woo! There we go, bros. Look at this shit. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know how I just lived through that, but, you know. All good. Nice, rainbow diamond. Let's get it, buddy. Woo! Get off me. What are you doing? Oh my god, wait, how is he at one health? How did I not kill him? All good, bros. Guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video of dual wielding such akimbo in every Call of Duty. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you guys could leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Promise it's worth it. Let me know if you guys want me to do another video like this, uh, maybe with attachments. Um, I don't know what else I would do. I like woke up this morning. It just came to me. I was just like dual wielding in every single Call of Duty. That would be awesome. Considering that dual wielding isn't something you see all the time anymore. And since it's in Black Ops 4, I figured it would be a great idea as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys got other ideas like this, like attachments that we don't see in every Call of Duty anymore, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.